watching Real Too Real. Alright, inside of Real Too Real, I gotta pause you for a minute. Alright, I got the socket down there. I got the ratchet. Try to put this on the between the alternator and the intake. I mean, I thought about it. And the intake. See if I can catch the compression on the camera. I'm gonna put my finger over here on the spark plug. Make sure it. Watch, I could put the spark plug back in two. But I can just put my finger down here and make sure. Back in number two because I'm, uh, not really when the Spark plugs slipping around my fingers. I'm trying to climb up on the truck a little bit more. It's not really working. There we go. I'm use a socket. Sure Alright, I got that spark plug tightened down. It was on there. It was pretty much tight by the time I realized that my finger hit the camera. So let's turn old crankshaft here and wait for that air to pop. Open and praying there ain't nothing wrong with the timing belt. Dang. Got a long travel is. I think it should have popped by now. It's an egg compression by now. Huh. I forgot how long the trouble is, but I'm pretty sure I should have compressed them by now. I haven't hurt. It uh, a lot off the 
compression stroke. But uh, all right. Oh, it's hot out here. I'm gonna go get a towel real quick. And wipe my sweat off. Told me like 160 out here tonight. See you on a minute. All right, let's do this again. I just found this piece. It was clicked on to that wiring harness that's unplugged. And that wiring harness was not plugged in for some reason. I don't remember unplugging it at all because it's out of the way and I wouldn't have needed to. But I went to go get the screwdriver to see if um, the piston was moving up and down during um, the stroke. And uh, some reason that sensor is unplugged. I think it more than likely is the water temperature sensor, but I have to look it up. I could have a minute ago, but I wanted to contemplate for a second. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to look that up, try to find a bigger uh, screwdriver. Where I was thinking about going to get on um, those bendy straws I had for the vacuum cleaner. Um, they're put back in the house now. I was going to go get a couple of those and combine them together. Make a long enough probe to reach into there. I wish it was big enough to... I wish the spark plug jacket was big enough to... Uh, Camera in there. See if I can ah. So we set a scope. See if I can view that footage. <laughs> Try to get daylight down here in front of the camera that way it shines some more light down the tunnel. But I don't know what if anything was able to see, but so we set a scope. You're right to look down in there in that cylinder and look at that piston. But yeah it doesn't I gave I'm gonna put that little clip down before I drop it again. Yeah, it fell down when I when I noticed there was dangling on that wiring harness. It fell down underneath, and of course I had to get the sand on it. I had to wipe it down. But while I was sitting there talking about that, see, it doesn't have much tra travel backwards, and so that tells me the tensioner and everything is good on the timing belt. But, yeah, I need to probe that spark plug jacket to see if there's anything in there. I need to find out what this wiring harness goes to on the sensor right here. Which I think is the water temperature sensor. I'm pretty sure. I don't think that's anything that's actually relevant to make it help it start, but it might be. So I'm going to plug that in and look around and do a couple more ideal checks, but hopefully that, plugging that back in, hopefully it'll start tomorrow. I'm not going to do it tonight because kids are sleeping and it's almost 11.30ish. So, in the future having a shop and I can be able to do the crank ups and not be in front of my kids room so 
just plugging and chugging as uh, Amazing Senate Steve would say. But hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, something will jump out and bite me. And uh, actually, I was going to make a funny comment about the screwdriver. About it's taking something long and uh, small, skinny into the hole. I was I had a skit in my mind when I was uh, looking for that screwdriver in the bed of my truck. Uh, yeah, that's what she said, and that uh, she won't let me. Hopefully I remember to edit that out because that sounded really stupid the way it just did not. But back to subject at hand when I'm done editing. But um, yep, just having a little bit of fun, trying to have a little bit different fun. But all right, get the cracking, snapping. Alright, watching Hold Me in the Hellcat. Still love watching him, maybe do all the bullshit. But, pause you for a minute. I got this rubber hose from a brake line kit, uh, self bleeder kit. And I already put it in there, put it far as it go. I already started turning the crank a couple of notches this can out of there. Uh, I turned the motor a couple of notches and the hose started coming out. So I should be close to the top dead center. Alright. Not so much luck. Playing with the hose. It was uh so what the condition of this hose is down in there. But uh yeah it was uh Uh, flexing giving in there I think a little bit too much I think I need something a bit stiffer to a judge where the end of it is and it might have been curling down there on top of the piston a bit like uh, when it was going down it might have been curling on top of the piston but uh, Probably go with the Strolls trick, but I don't know, it's getting kind of late and might throw that spark plug back in there for tonight and play with it tomorrow. It's almost 1 ish, 12 ish. Yeah, it's 1. So, I got that water temperature. I did look that up. That is the water temperature thermostat. Uh, sensor for the uh, gauge cluster but thinking that it connects a, a power loop and ground loop so it might be <clears throat> uh, linked to the PCM enough that if that was disconnected like I think it was because I don't think I disconnected it or bumped it I would have because I know I didn't Pull the tab, which actually the piece of the tab broke. It's supposed to connect from there to there on those tabs, but part up here snapped off when I clipped it in. But it's it takes a bit to undo it, so. I'm hoping it's connected enough and maybe there I'll put some zip ties on it. <laughs> no, I would have to find a wiring harness that doesn't have a broken tab really, but it should be connected enough. I'm gonna and I gotta take it on walk the trash down to the to the trailer park. Can't wait to have my own trash thing closer but fun 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 
then I'm going to throw that spark plug back in there so it covers the hole. And then, um, be able to, uh, walk trash down the road. And be able to, uh, come out of here and play with it more. And, uh, hopefully it starts up. And hopefully my luck is that the sensor there was not connecting a power and ground loop. And, um malfunction PCM not to fire that there was a problem so yeah 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 hopes and dreams and start start <laughs> but fun 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 see you on a minute